I've been trying to be more intentional on how I actually edit shorts since I could look like this. Yesterday I used the last of our coffee, and the main reason we went through it so fast is because normally we split our coffee between ours and the coffee machine downstairs, but lately the one downstairs has been, has been broken. I'm gonna get coffee. There is coffee, meaning that, uh, also to show you that, I, uh, I took the lid off, but I dunked the lid by mistake, and now there's, there's coffee all over the place. I'm editing, I'm editing shorts right now. And one thing that I've been trying to do, I've been trying to be more intentional on how I actually edit shorts. Instead of just finding an entertaining piece of content, I'm trying to incorporate like a story around it. And pull from what I do on the, the bigger vlogs, like the longer form vlogs, and put the put that kind of uh, effort into shorts. It's taking forever, but I think it's just something I'm trying. Here's here's one of the shorts that I, that I worked on. Are you sure that's right? The session is about, it's, it's about two miles away but it's at a bar, it's not downtown, like on Broadway, Nashville, it's right, did I get that right? If I'm being completely honest, I'm not really sure what to expect. Thank you. Actually, it's a lot of is taking pictures, and I'm applying uh, to YouTube comments. So the big thing is I want to like incorporate more story within my shorts. If you notice the first part of the video, the first clip was like asking like if this is the right place and what that does subconsciously is that presents like a question and that engages the um, the audience or whoever's watching it and wanting to answer that question. And then right after that I go straight into like explaining where we're going and that this bar is like unique and, that, and explaining that the bar is like something that you wouldn't expect well, like it like helps pique your interest and makes you want to keep watching. And then back half of the video is just like shots of the cool looking bar. And then I have I added like a little like me replying to YouTube comments just to add a little like to humanize it and make it feel less like social media e. That's that's at least what I'm trying to do. You know, I've been wanting to try this and I figured since today I'm talking about shorts anyway It would be a good excuse to try it, but I want to try capturing shorts with this if you don't know what this is This is a like Six seven eight year old camera that we got for 50 bucks I really like the way it looks because it looks really nostalgic So I figured I'll try to shoot like a dedicated short video like this way with it And if it doesn't work out well <laughs> No, I'm not sure if this video is going to be any good at all, I'll make it nonetheless. And if it sucks, well, eh. Here's what I love about running is being able to just go outside and like get fresh air and also like help clear clear your head. I'm not entirely sure how far I'm going to go. This is a bridge for a train. Whenever it goes, over this and you're like walking under it, rocks and dust fall down. And typically when you're thinking about running stuff, then you're not thinking about the pain that you're in and the fact that you just, you just want to stop and you don't want to run anymore. Uh, also, there are a lot of runners out today.
Okay, that uh, that actually worked. The only thing that there, there were a couple of things with this camera that I I didn't really like. One was a uh, it was really really close. This is like a 24 mil instead of like a like a 15 or a 12, and because of that, I had to hold it like way out here. But even then, it like it looked like it was like up in my face, like it looked like this. And then the other thing, it wasn't the audio. I mean, the audio wasn't great, but I think it kind of lends to the video quality. But the other thing was actually leaning this thing like up and trying to get it to stand up. It's a lot easier to get it to stand up on something like this compared to like, like, <laughs> like it just doesn't work. But I think this thing really, really did work. And I mean, it's not that, and you can do it with pretty much any, any camera. Like you can do this, use this, you can use this. You can even use your, your iPhone. One of the things that I really try to do in most videos that I make, and I feel like sometimes I succeed better with some videos than other, especially with shorts, since you're trying to catch somebody's attention when they're just scrolling through, I try to really have a talking point right up front about what the video is going to be about. And then to go further beyond that, because typically people aren't gonna read your captions until like halfway through the short, I try to have a compelling, interesting like statement that will catch your attention. I think that's one big thing that separates shorts or like short form content from long form content. Typically long form content, you're reading what the title is, you're reading, you're looking at what the thumbnail is, there's more decisiveness to it versus like a short if you're, you're just scrolling through and if you like it, you watch it. If you don't, you just go right past. Having something interesting and compelling and relatable right up front really, really does help. Typically for long form stuff, you can let the footage breathe, you can let it like ebb and flow and the pace like go slow or go fast. The shorts, you don't have much of a choice. You literally just have to keep their attention and typically the best way to do that is to have a fast pace like edit. Not, not super quick cuts to where you're giving somebody a seizure. Think of it somewhere in the range of a, a cheetah and a turtle. You want somewhere in between. Okay. I have to use this more. It actually turned out good. I, fun fact, I actually dropped it while I was trying to set it up, so now it has like a couple new scuffs on it, but uh, that's fine. <laughs>